Hi there, Mike Giannotti here for Copilot Snacks. It's been a while, so excuse me. Um, but if you tuned in to any of the announcements around Copilot Wave 2, something that really caught my eye as an old SharePoint guy was the use of Copilot native in SharePoint within a library to create a Copilot agent where you could go ahead and query content in that library. You could extend it, do other things. And what I love about it is it is point and click simple. Stupid simple for a guy like me, which it translates into very useful also for many folks. So we're gonna go in and take a look at that. And you can see here, I have opened a personal site about me that's internal. Microsoft, I actually use this site to post, you know, the latest uh, in content that we're publishing on the blog, some informational stuff about me, examples of things, resources, et cetera. Um, but I have libraries of content in here that I expose uh, for people to take advantage of. And if we go in here, we're gonna go in and click site contents. Actually, I have to update that site. I'm now on to FY25 projects, not 24. Um, but if you're coming down here, you can see I set up a demo library and I imported some generic documents about Copilot. And so you can see here, there's a whole bunch of documents. We could have thousands, et cetera. But I wanna be able to get information without having to read through all of these. <clears throat> so how do I do that? Leveraging the power of Copilot. Well. With the new Copilot and the rollout in Wave 2 of Copilot agents in SharePoint, you can see here it's right there in the toolbar. Makes it simple for me. So I can come in, click create a agent, and I'm done. <laughs> right? Right off the bat, it's already there. Now I can click edit, and we'll do that in just a moment uh, so that we can see that. But you can see it's automatically just set one up for me. I'm going to go ahead and click try it. And it's then going to load up. The other thing you'll note is it has loaded the agent is in here. Let me refresh this uh, library view. So we'll go ahead. I'll refresh here. There we go. And it has loaded up the agent. And I need to actually move, I guess, myself out of the way. I'm obstructing. There you go. Put myself dead center. You can see here, there is that agent it created. It actually stores it right here in the library as a asset. And so there's some things that we can do with that. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. But notice it's also now opened up here in line right here on the right. And so from this particular view, I can come in and by default, it's given me some prompts. How can you help me compare the differences between these files? create FAQs based on these files. Um, and I can go ahead and leverage those as is, or something else I can do here, and I'm just moving my mouse around. Um, I can go ahead and remember we had that edit function earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and select it from the little three dots here, click edit. And we're gonna open up the edit view. Now I love this and we'll move myself again out of the way. There we go. <clears throat> I love this particular view because it allows me, again, without being a programmer, to do some pretty powerful things for my user. So first of all, I can rename this particular agent. Right now it's called Demo Document Library. I'll just call it Demo Copilot Agent. There we go. I can rename it. I can change the description of that right from here. If I go up to sources, this is very cool. I love this uh, right here. So let's say I had multiple libraries I wanted to draw from the information. I can do that right here. I can slick, select add document libraries or folders. That's from this particular site or search by site title or enter a URL. So. I'm looking, and this is SharePoint content today, right? So if I'm looking at my internal contents all up there in SharePoint, maybe I have content in another SharePoint library somewhere that I want to pull into the views here that people can query. Um, maybe it's another library on this particular site. 
I'm actually involved right now with a group that has set up um, some things for our field sales folks for the U.S. around HLS, education, finance, where they can go in and query stuff. And so being able to do that from against multiple sources, again, very powerful, point and click, right? If I click it, I'll just, just for the heck of it, we'll say add a document library. And you can see here, there's the other one. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel, um, but we have those available. And then we have, if I come over here to behavior, the ability to change the three primary helps or prompt helps, right, um, that are available. I can also change the welcoming message. So let's say, you know, I wanted to grab that. I could change it. I could go ahead and edit. Or I can just change the starter prompt. So I'm going to go ahead. I have a couple of ones already done here. We'll change that first one, provide a detailed summary of what Copilot is, how to deploy it, and how to extend it. It's going to look at the library for that, right? I'm just prompting them here. Um, I could go ahead and say, you know, instead of compare the differences between these files, I don't want them to have to go ahead and select. So I'm just going to say right here, boom, compare the differences between the files in this repository. And lastly, instead of, again, these files, I want to go ahead and create FAQs <clears throat> based on should be the files, the files in the demo document library. Um, I could change the instructions down here. I'm going to leave that. Notice when we were going through, though, all of these views, right, we always had add a question. So if you have, if you have a, you know, a potential prompt that you want to enter here, you, you want to see what it'll bring back for results, you can actually drop it in here, like, let's say, Oh, I don't know. Let's click this copy. We'll take that one about FAQs, paste that in here. And again, that was the. And notice I can at even attach just like as if I was in the agent itself. Do it with audio. I could enable. And I'm just going to go ahead, though, and click. And I can see the results that are going to come back. So I can iterate and kind of work on those to make sure I have, before I make those changes, something that's going to provide the kind of information that I want. And here you go. Look at that. It's doing this whole FAQ based off of the files here. Powerful, right? I'm able to test it right on the spot. Boom. And so uh, it even has the normal warning. It has the copy, paste, up or down. All that's right there. But once I've gone in, I can go ahead and save. I do have one other option, not enabled yet, but coming. Use advanced customization in Copilot Studio. Now, if I click that, you'll see it says coming soon. So that is coming soon, where I can go even further, open this up in Copilot Studio and really get crazy about customizing it. But again, <clears throat> for that point and click, just kind of it works. We'll go ahead. I'm going to click Save. And just like that, now I can go ahead and close this. Boom. And now it's updated. Here you go. You can see we have the intro description, my new particular pieces here. And so somebody coming in, you know, to this library could actually come in and say, hey, you know, let's go ahead. I want to provide a detailed summary. Now, of course, they could write their own queries and free query right here once I have that agent enabled. So now it's going ahead and it's starting to what is copilot based upon that predetermined query. And you can see, boom, there we go. And I could say add more detail. You can see I have the references to the files where that information is coming from. Again, powerful stuff for somebody out of the box point and click. But what if I want to extend this? Maybe I want to provide people a view a quick click into the agent without having to come over to the library. Maybe I want a simple link in a team site, um, you know, in Teams, where I go ahead and look at in my team, you know, we add a tab or uh, on a particular view. Maybe I want to drop it on our a homepage of a divisional portal, whatever the case might be. I can do that simple and easily coming here 
See where it says share this item with other people? I'm going to go ahead and click and say I want to copy the link. And it tells you the permissions, right? I could have changed those. Um, but now that I've copied that link, let's come up over here and select. And so now you'll see it's going to open up this agent that we've edited nice and clean here in the browser view. And now I can use this, provide that link all over. I can send it again in Teams. I can send, you know, post it in a portal, whatever the case. And people can come in and say, hey, you know, let's go ahead, compare the differences between the files in this repository. Click. And just like we did earlier, it's going to go through via this agent, wherever we've instantiated it. It's going to provide this particular view. Look at that. It's going, going, going. And again, and it's still going. <laughs> it's still going. Um, providing the view, it has, again, woo, there we go. It has links and references right there. It is easy, easy, easy. So if you have not taken a look at this, if you have large repositories of data and documents out there, and you've been looking for a way to make them more useful, easier to access for individuals so they can start to put this stuff front and center. Go in into SharePoint, into a particular library, select create a co-pilot agent, right? Just like we did here. I can even create another one. Click edit if you want. Go ahead, you can change the name. You can change what it's looking at and even add additional sources. Beautiful thing. Put that all here, get it set up, then provide that shared link to people and help them to start accessing data in a more focused natural language query method using Copilot agents in SharePoint. So with that, this is the Copilot snack made easy, easy, point and click, baby. Hoping you all have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.